How are you doing, math learners? This is your free access math teacher, Ash, and welcome to ML with Sir Ash. For today's lesson, we're going to discuss how to divide integers, and I'm going to give you some tips on how to divide numbers. So before anything else, hit that subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool clear math videos just like this. Hello math learners! Welcome to our session in Math Learning with Sir Ash. Now is the time that we will be discussing the last operation in terms of the operation of integers, and that is division. The question is, how do we divide integers? But before I will reveal the secret on how to divide integers, first, let's have a quick review on how to divide numbers. Okay, now, say we have an example, 384 divided by 4. Okay. Now, these are both whole numbers, right? 384 will be divided by 4. When we were in our elementary days, what do we do? We just make the long division method in which we use 384 divided by 4. By doing this, we can now determine the parts of division. The number inside the box or the SEPI box is what we call the dividend, while the number outside the SEMI box is what we call the divisor. The thing that we will be getting here or the answer that we will be getting here is what we call the quotient. And if ever um, this number, this dividend is not divisible by the divisor, we will get some change out of it and that is what we call remainder. Now. How do we divide numbers? Okay, this is very simple, right? In our elementary days, what do we do? In long division method, what do we do is we divide the number inside the dividend through the divisor by digit, okay? So we will start with 3 divided by 4. However, it is not possible. So therefore, we will consider the second digit. So it will become 38. 38 divided by 4, that is 9, right? And 9 times 4, that is 36. And then, we subtract the two numbers. 38 minus 36, we have 2. We bring down the last digit, which is 4. 24 divided by 4, and we will have an answer of 6. So, 6 times 4, that is 24, giving us no remainder. Therefore, our quotient for this given example is 96. Very easy, right? Yes. Okay. However, it comes to a difficulty of most students if ever we are dealing with big numbers or um, divisors with two digits, three digits, and so on. So the question is, um, Sir Ash, do you have any method um, that could help us in order for us to divide numbers easily, especially those two-digit numbers? Okay. Now, let's consider another example. Okay, math learners. We have here 6,018 divided by 34. Now, if we use the long division, somehow there are some confusion or there may be difficulty, right? But um, since this is ML with Sir Ash, I'm going to teach you some tips on how to easily divide these numbers. So the first method that I will be showing you is this. We will use the reduction method. How do we use the reduction method? So, this is the use of the powers of 5 and 10. Okay? So, let's try here. Now, this is 6,018, right? Okay. So, how many 34s could there be? Let's say, since this is 6,000, we could say that we have, um, by just multiplying 34 with 100, we get 34,000, right? So that 34,000 may be subtracted to this one, giving us 8, 1, 30, um, 0 minus 4, that, that borrows from 6, right? So it becomes 10, so this is 6, then this will become 5, 5 minus 3, and that would give us 2. So we have 2,618. However, this is still big enough, right? Okay, so two, how many 34s are there in 2,618? Now, let's consider um, 50. Okay, 50. So, if we multiply 50 times 34, we will have 
um, 0, 20, carry 2, 5 times 3, 15, 16, 17, that is 1,700. Right? So, we will subtract that 1,700 to this one, giving us 18. Okay? 6 minus 7 cannot be, so we will borrow again. This gives us 918. Right? Okay. Now, since 918 is somewhat big, okay? So, I know we will not use any more 50 because that will give us 1,700. So, let's use another number to be multiplied to 34. That would subtract our 918. What would that be? Powers of 10. So, let's use 10. So, 34 times 10, that is 340. Giving us 8. That would be 11 because um, we will borrow from 9. So, 11, that is 7. And then, this will become 8 minus 3. That is 578. So, since 578 can still be subtracted by 340, we could use another 10. And that gives us 340. So, we have 8. And then, 7 minus 4, that is 3. 2 minus, ah, 5 minus 3, that is 2. We have 238. Now, by using 340 again, we will not be enough for the 238. So, we will use the powers of 10 and 5. So, we could use 5. So, 5 times 4, that will give us 20. Carry 2. 5 times 3, 15. 16, 17. And that is 170. Okay. So, that gives us 8 here. 3 minus 7 cannot be. So, we borrow. We give 6. 68. Now, 68 is very clear that in 68, there are 2 34. So, we just put 2 here. And we have 68 giving us no more answers. Okay? Now, did we get the value of our quotient? Not yet. Why? Because we need all these values. So, we have 100 plus 50 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus 2 giving us 177. And that is the final answer for this given problem. Is it right? However, it might be long, but um, it gives us more efficiency in subtracting and multiplying numbers. Okay, so the next method that I will be sharing you is what we call the estimation. Okay, so how do we use estimation in dividing? So let's consider the same number, 6018 divided by 34. All right, now, by the power of estimation, we can estimate this as 35, okay? So that is 35, right? Powers of 5s and 10, okay? Now, in the first one, we have 60 here. How many 35 is divisible to go to 60? Okay, since 35 times 2 is 70, then we can have 1. So 1 times 34, that is 34. We subtract it and then the answer is how many 30, uh, 60 and 34? If you subtract this one, this is 26, right? And then we have 261. Now, by the use of estimation, 35, how many 35 are there in 261? We know that 235 gives us 70, right? So, 70 plus another 70. So, that gives us 140. This is 260. Then, we could use another 70. That is 210, right? Now, 210 plus another 70. That gives us 280. So, therefore, it's not good for um, to consider four 70s, but instead we just need to use three 70s and 135. So that gives us seven. Okay, so seven, seven times four, that is 28. Okay, seven times three, that is 21, plus two, that is 23, giving us that we, we will use the um, regrouping or borrow. So 11 minus eight, that is three. This gives us 5. This gives us 2. Okay. And then, we bring down 8. So, as you can see, 238, 238, they are just the same. So, you can get immediately the 238 here and the final answer is none. And they are just the same. Okay. So, I hope these two examples are clear to you. Now, let us consider one more example. Alright, math learners. We have here... 1,188 divided by 12. Now, what is the answer? Okay, by using the reduction method, 
As you can see, we can um, we can use trial and error here um, by just using the powers of 100, 5, and uh, powers of 10, powers of 5. Okay, now 12. Um, how many 12 do we need in order to get 1,000? Okay, so the first idea is, yes, we need 100, right? We need 100. If we multiply 100 times 10, uh, <coughs> if we multiply 100 times 12, that gives us 1,200, right? However, as you can see here, 1,200 is bigger than the given dividend. And if we try to observe the difference between 1,200 and 1,188, the difference is very small, right? And that is 1. 1 parts of 12. So therefore, we don't need to get 100. We just need to get 99. Because by just multiplying 99 times 12, that will give us 1,188. And we have our answer. Simple, right? Okay, that's the power of estimation and um, the reduction method. Now, let's consider another example. Now, we have here 1,462 divided by 43. So, how do we divide 1,462 by 43? Using the estimation method. Okay, now, so we estimate this one. So, let's use 40, okay? So, 40. How many 40s are there in 146? Because, of course, we can't use 14 to divide 43. So, we will need to get 3 digits. So, how many 40s are there in 143? So, that is very easy because 40, that's 80. And then, that's 120. Then, 120 is plus 40. That would give us 160. 160 is more than for this given. So, therefore, we just need to use 3. So, by just using 3, 3 times 3, that is 9. 3 times 4, that is 12. We subtract this 1, giving this as a, let's say, 7. And then borrow, that is 3. 3 minus 2, that is 1. And no. So, let's bring down 2. Okay. Now, as you can see here, this is 17. Okay. So, by just considering 40, that is very, very close to 160 which is divisible by 40 and 160 is four times as much right because 40 80 um, 120 and 160 we cannot use the fifth um, time because that will give us 200 and this is only 162 172 sorry so therefore we'll just consider four times as much so we will use four four times three that is 12 four times four that is 16 plus 117 and that gives us our final answer. So I hope I have shared to you the technique of estimation and the power of reduction in dividing numbers. So now let us go to our main event, which is how to divide integers. So let's do this. Okay, math learners, we are now here in our final discussion on how to divide integers. We have here some examples, 2, 4, 6, and 8. 8 examples for us to familiarize and to get the very, very easy um, technique on how to divide integers and what are the things to consider when you divide integers. Okay, now, let me emphasize this one. Do you know that dividing integers is the easiest operation among all operations in terms of integers? Why? Because... If we compare it to addition, in addition, you can put a lot of addends, right? And there are a lot of rules on how to add. In multiplication, you can put a lot of factors to multiply. In subtraction, there are only two factors to consider, two things to consider, the minuend and the subtrahend. However, the rules in subtraction is dependent on the rules of addition so it's still quite complicated however it's easy right because we already have discussed that in our sessions so how does division makes it way easier the among all those given operations okay this is the catch in division we just need to consider two things 
the dividend, the number to be divided, and the divisor, the number that will divide the given number. Okay? So there are only two things. Now, remember this. When the two numbers, when you divide, when you divide two numbers, and then they have the same sign, therefore the final answer is positive. Otherwise, if they are different, positive, negative, or negative, positive, then the final answer or your quotient is negative. So now, let's try this one. 60 divided by 10. Positive 60 divided by positive 10. Both are positives, therefore, the final answer is positive. So 60 divided by 10, that is positive 6. Negative 99 divided by 11. Negative divided by positive. Unlike signs, therefore, the final answer is negative. So negative 99 divided by 11, that is negative 9. Alright, now let's go to the third example. 48 divided by negative 6. 48 is positive, while negative 6 is negative, unlike sign again. So therefore, the final answer is negative. So 48 divided by negative 6, that is negative 8. Easy, right? Now we have here two negatives. Negative 63 divided by negative 9. Again, if both are the same sign, then the final answer is positive. So therefore, the final answer here is positive 7. Now, let's just continue our technique. We have both positive, therefore, 16 divided by 2, both positives, the answer is positive 8. We have the same sign, negative. So, negative 8 divided by negative 2, the answer is positive 4. Now, here we have unlike sign. So, 56 divided by negative 7, we have negative 8. And lastly, we have negative 40 divided by 4, unlike sign again. So we have negative 10. So let us recheck whether our answers are correct. Positive, positive, that is 60, correct. Negative 99, negative and positive, we have negative 9, okay. Unlike sign again, we have negative 8. The same sign, we have positive 7. The same sign, we have positive 8. Unlike sign, we have positive, oh sorry, the same sign, okay, we have positive 4, alright. Unlike sign, we have negative 8. Unlike sign, we have negative 10. Okay, so I hope you have understand our lesson about dividing numbers and dividing integers. And now, this is the time that I will challenge you in our lesson. So, these are the try this exercises. I hope you have learned our lesson for today, math learners. This is still your free access math teacher, Ash. And always remember, it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you very much. And please don't forget to click that subscribe button. And if you are very uh, fond of our video for today, do not um, hesitate to share this with your friends, loved ones, and families out there which is very very useful for our everyday learning keep safe and god bless